it's Christine. Welcome to a new video for Paper House Productions. Uh, last Sunday, I tried to do a Facebook Live that showed how to jazz up your school supplies. And we were having some internet issues. And so the Facebook Live got done, but not quite as smoothly or um, as well as I would have liked. So I decided to go ahead and make a video to share with you that will go up on YouTube. And so this one is the exact same projects as I did the other night, but using a second round of supplies. And I opted to theme it kind of a fantasy, night sky, galaxy theme. So all of them tie together really nicely. You can check out Facebook to see more of what I did earlier. Um, they were different, had different looks, but like I said, I was having some buffering issues and it just didn't go quite as smoothly as I wanted it to. So um, here's the fresh start. On this one, I am doing a clipboard and I am using several different washies from Paper House and I'm just covering it. Now I am just taking them on the diagonal and following from the first one that I put down to the last one. I am mixing and matching. So I've got this galaxy themed washi going on and then I've got this really pretty gold in there. I'm going to be using that gold and this um, galaxy one a lot today. Uh, washi is kind of the main star of this decorating my school supplies. And all this is is just a clipboard from a dollar store. Uh, literally a dollar store. It cost me one dollar to get it. The nice thing about using washi tape is that it will hold on there for a while but when your kiddo gets sick of it or you get sick of it you can just pull it right off and put some fresh stuff on. It's got just a interesting grip because it holds but it's not usually going to hold forever especially the good stuff isn't going to hold forever um because it's made to be kind of a temporary decor thing so um as you are doing that consider that you know if they get sick of looking at it or if they're kids and they just peel it off no biggie it comes in big old long rolls and you can just fix it now the next thing i'm adding is some enamel stickers and these are stargazer enamel stickers you're going to see me using several different ones that kind of fit in this fantasy space galaxy theme um and they are they have a really cool feel to them they feel like enamel pins now we're going to go on and make a set of magnets this one I'm going to pull out some papers from the Marvelous paper pad they have some blues and some purples in there that tie perfectly with the stickers and theme that I'm going for and then I'm also going to pull out a sheet that has a self-adhesive magnet um, and it's literally just a eight and a half by 11 uh, sheet of magnet and I obviously cut it down so I can cut it out and I'm running it through my machine several times to cut it out in a circular shape. The reason I'm doing several times is because it's such a thick material that it just doesn't cut on the first time. Um, and then you can see I've pulled it off where the self-adhesive side is and I'm just going to adhere my circle that I cut. I'm just using a simple metal circular die to get things nice and exact here and you can see now I've got a magnet created already. I could totally stop there and just have some cute circles with the patterned paper. But I work for Paper House. I love stickers. I love washi. So, of course, I'm not going to just stop right there. <laughs> um, yes, the patterned paper is gorgeous, but we must add stickers and washi. It's just required. So, here I'm adding on some more of that gold washi. And you can see that it's a thinner washi. All of Paper House's washies come in sets. So, you've got a thicker one and a thinner one. And they coordinate beautifully together, but they also coordinate nicely within the collection with other ones. Um, so you can see I've added some stripes of that on there, and then I'm just adding more enamel stickers. I'm going to get some different um, astrological signs going on in there. I'm going to get some astronomy stuff. See, that's where I was getting. I'm getting astronomy, astrology, and I'm going to get just some fantasy critters. I'm going to get some narwhals in there. So there you can see I've got that moon and that star, and then I'm bringing in some astrological stuff. And finally, I've got narwhals, which are just so fun, and a cute little saying of stay magical. 
Now, let's carry on to my next project, and that is just an earbud case. Now, what this is, is a little set of metal containers. It came in a set of two, and they are magnetized on the back. So I thought this would be perfect for like a locker to put your earbuds into, or some other little trinket that you want to keep track of. But I feel like earbuds are something that kids are easily losing, uh, and so are adults. <laughs> and so I thought this would be a really handy little project. So what I am doing is just cutting out a circle for the middle and I had cut one out already but it was a little big so I just trimmed it down and then I just put adhesive on the back of it and stuck it right inside my tin to be a color then I'm going to outline the whole thing with washi tape now these are again some of the same washies you've seen me using already but I'm going to mix and match colors so I can bring in more color to it and this is just a quick little simple way to contain those nasty things that get lost. Now this would also work great for like a work desk. If you have a desk that has some metal on it, you could just stick this right on there and keep track of some of those little things like your earbuds or if you have to take off rings while you do work or things like that, you have just this little container two for a dollar so 50 cents just fantastic and you can personalize it as you'd like you can see I'm being drawn back to those narwhals uh, and so I'm gonna go that direction again and there you can see I've got the purple inside and the washi on the outside and then that cute little narwhal right on top very fun very uh, easy and cheap so there's that too now let's move on to another project and this is the fourth thing this is just taking binder clips and adding a little pizzazz to those now binder clips are a dime a dozen they're black usually they look like little purses if you look at them um, and everybody's got them on their desk so why not add a little bit of fun to them with washi tape now here i'm going to give you a couple different ideas first of all you can just use the straight up um, bigger, fatter washi tape, and it fits pretty much perfectly on these standard sized ones, but you can also go ahead and get out the narrow ones and use multiples of the narrow ones, as you're going to see, I am going to do. So like I opted to do some of the gold, I opted for some turquoise and I opted for some purple. And so I got a striped looking one in addition to one that is just the solid um, galaxy constellation feel to it. So there you have it. Cute, quick, easy to decorate, and you can personalize it however you want. Think how much a teacher would enjoy those if you did them like in their school mascot colors. Um, not school mascot colors, school colors. Now, finally, the last thing is just adding some spark and fun to a pencil case. There are all kinds of pencil cases out there. I just grabbed this one because it looked like it would be a little bit different from what my kids have used the last couple of years. And all I'm doing is just adding washi tape around that again. Um, the same colors you've seen me using all along and varying it, you know, doing three of the thicker one and then three of the skinnier one and just changing up the patterns a little bit. And then I'm going to just add some enamel stickers onto it to personalize it even further. And that is about it. So washi tape some patterned paper, some faux enamel stickers, and you are all set to decorate your back to school supplies. Um, you don't have to get anything fancy. Like I said, I just went to a dollar store. Everything was actually a dollar and it just made it quick and easy to um, attack those, make them cuter and make them a little more fun for the kids to look at and a little more excited to use them at least to start with they're probably not going to be so excited come october but um you know what i mean it's a good little start on the school year and a good way to just personalize everything so thank you so much for joining me today i will be back again soon with another video for you